For anyone who thinks that it's only slow movements or wavy kinds of, of soft movements that have this internal external dichotomy, nope, that's not true. All movements have it because all movements can start from the center of your body. So let's have hip lifts and hip drops as examples. Okay. Of course, there are many ways to do a hip lift. There are many ways to do a hip drop and that's part of it. Okay. Some ways are more skeletal and some ways are more muscular. Okay. So example, a very, very classic hip lift, you, oops, I need to back up, uses the entire leg, okay? There we go. You see the whole thing is skeletal, isn't it? That's not to say it's bad, it's just different. That gives us options, okay? And the opposite of a classic hip lift is a hip drop that goes down and back, down and back, down and back, involving the whole leg, and the foot is pivoting on the floor, right? Down and back, down and back, down and back, down and back, and that's a hip drop, okay? And there are hip drops that are straight up and down that also involve more of the outside of your body, like this one, actually I'm using here, which you could say it's muscular, but it's also external. I'm thinking about the outer part of my hip going down, 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 this big piece back here, down, down, down. Now, let me move from the center of my body and go down, down, down. Different? 